Hi, and welcome to my sixth weekly vlog. Um, we just turned into more of a Monday, Tuesday thing rather than a what was supposed to be a Friday, Saturday thing. But apparently, my weekends are so busy now that I don't really have time to shut up. I don't really have time to um, record and upload um, until. Uh, the other week. So this week is just gonna be a little casual. I need to talk about stuff that happened in my life, and um, I suppose I can talk a little bit. I had something that I wanted to talk about, kind of. Um, so let's just get into it. This weekend, I was at something <laughs> that they choose to call a, an openness festival um, here in Aarhus, where I live. Um, I went as a representative for LGBT youth, a group that I am part of, even though I'm slightly too old. You know, it's like for for people <laughs> up to 25 years, and I'm 26, but I get like a free pass because I didn't really have a lot of chance to be in it when I was 25. So, And I relate a lot to um, the people in it because I don't really feel like I'm 26. Um, I don't know why. Um, so anyway, I went there, and it was about um, it was about openness. They had some representatives from different groups that are probably met with um, prejudice. And um, okay, the kitty is making noise. I'm not just ignore that. She's hyper. Um, groups that are met with prejudice and um, you know just lack of understanding. Um, there were only three groups represented here because it was the first year that I held this, and it was um, a small scale. I mean, there, there could possibly have been one, one more uh, res representative, but it was it was pretty packed um, already. Um, so there were a, um, an organization for homeless people in Denmark. There was a guy from um, Protestant Youth. Um, in Denmark, and then there was me from LGBT youth in Aarhus. Um, and it was just like people could come up to you and talk about um, what what you were about, you know, what kind of prejudice and um, what kind of other problems you faced in in your daily life, and if you ever you know met with hate or a misunderstanding and. You know, I could talk a lot about um, the general stuff that LGBT people face, like um, just small. I talked about how you know the small implied things, like people putting people in boxes, like if someone is homosexual, then they are in the homosexual box, and forgetting that there are so much more to every person. Like I was talking about last week, like you're not just whatever people used to describe you, you are a person. And um, it's hurtful when people just use that one part of your identity to, to, um, to describe you. Um, and I just also told them my story, and some of them were like, "What you are? You weren't born a girl." And I don't know if they were trying to flatter me or anything, but it felt nice. Um, so anyway, I'm sorry. I'm the lighting is way different here because I'm recording this kind of a night. I just I was just at movies um, with a friend, um, and this is something that I wanted to talk about uh, because I was kind of. I was um, made aware of it at the um, at the openness festival. Like people asked me if I had had a hard time making friends, and I had to tell them, "Yeah, I actually did." Like I felt wrong about myself since you know before puberty, but especially during puberty and the. Um, the early adolescent years, I felt like I was I was wrong. Um, I didn't know who I was. I mean, I guess a lot of people don't know who they are, but I felt like I was I was having to pretend 
to be someone that people would um, would want to to be with, um, and you know that caused me to to feel like I wasn't really connecting with people, if that makes any sense. Like like I was showing them something that wasn't me. Like I was lying to them, and it made it really hard for me to to keep these relations because I never felt like I was myself. And it was annoying to be someone else all the time. Um, like people get shocked when they hear that I I don't have any friends that I talk to from from my old town at all. Old colleagues. You know, I've just I've thrown them all away. Um, because I didn't feel like they actually knew me and I was afraid that they if they knew the real me, that they wouldn't want to be with me, so I just cut them out first, which is stupid, I know. But it was the way I thought. Anyway, since coming to to Aarhus where I live now and being part of the LGBT community and the trans community, you know, I've made friends. For the first time in my life, you know, I don't have to to feel like I have to lie to these people that I call my friends. And I actually feel like they like me for the person that I am, which is completely new. And, you know, it's it's... It's more vulnerable because now I know that if people don't like me, it's because of me. Um, but it's so much better too because I know that if people like me, they like me because I'm me. Like, they like me. So, I barely have any friends from before I came out. But I have a lot of friends now. Friends that I can actually invite to my birthday parties and everything. Yeah. Anyway, at the Openness Festival, it was very nice to just have people come up to talk to me and just be like, I'm not used to be being approached. And, you know, even though I'm open about um, being transgender, you know, it's not something I go up to people and talk about. I mean, if people want to talk about it, I talk about it. Um, and, you know, even though I've, I've been saying that it's not the most important part of me, important part, it's not the most important part of me, um, right now, it is a big part of me. And it's probably going to continue to be a big part of me because I want to try working on making the world, making at least my country, um, a better place for people like me. Um, I have toyed with the thoughts of, you know, going stealth, um, just once I finish my transition, just living completely as a woman with everything that entails, I realize this shirt is not the woman thing I have to go. Androgynous today. I like it. Um, but I want to help people. And I'm not sure I can do that if I'm not open about who I am and, you know, what I am. Like we need, we need role models, um, people like Levon Cox and Janet Mock, and you know, we need more positive transgender um, role models in in media, so that young people or old people who struggle with these things have someone to look up to. And I'd love to be that kind of person. 
And I can't be that if I'm stealth. I mean, I'm not... <laughs> don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with being stealth. I'm seriously debating it myself because I know that it would be so much easier to just live completely as a woman and not have anyone try to make connections so like, okay, so you go to the LGBT community but you're actually straight? Like, what is up with that? And then you'd have to be like, I'm actually, I'm the T. Like, I get that. And I, I respect um, anyone who, who wants to do that. I mean, I get it. I just, I'm not sure that it's for me. I'm not sure I could uh, do that. So anyway, what else is happening in my life? Um, not much, to be honest. Um, I'm going to France in a few days. Um, probably I'm going to my parents the day after uploading this. Or the very same day that I'm uploading this, maybe. Um, depending on whether I have time tomorrow. And I'm gonna be there until the 27th, which means that I will not be making a video next week, but I'll probably get one done on the Monday after I come home. And don't talk about friends. And I'll get to walk around in France with, you know, my family. And it's going to be awkward. It's always awkward with my family uh, on vacation because they are such tourists. And I'm not looking forward to my father um, commenting on my looks or my um, way of acting. Um, hopefully I can just be allowed to have some time for myself down there. I need that. So yeah, that's actually the the high point. I went out and bought sandals today because I need sandals down in France, right? Um, so to sum this episode up, um, I'm going to France. I was very open about my um, being transgendered and my sexualities and stuff. Um, and I will continue to be so. And being more honest with myself and being more open has enabled me to um, get more friends and get better friends. You know, honestly, I have a friend, um, her name is Tina, she's awesome. And, you know, she's probably gonna watch this video at some point, so I'm just gonna say, like, you, Steenie, you are awesome, I love you. Um, but before I came out, we were more like peripheral friends, like, I don't know that we would have ever gone shopping or anything together, but that was because of me, like, keeping my distance to her. But since coming out and feeling that she accepts me for who I am and that she actually likes me for who I am, um, it's just, I really enjoy hanging out with her. And I get the feeling that she also enjoys hanging out with me, so it's a real nice feeling. Um, but I recommend to other people that you keep in contact with people. Don't try not to push them away um, because it gets really lonely. It has been really lonely for me, and. Yeah. The sooner you start being yourself around other people, the sooner you'll feel like you're actually liked for the person you really are, rather than feeling like people like you for the person you pretend to be. So, stop pretending. 
anyway, that's going to be it for uh, for this week. Um, I'll see you all in two weeks. Just two weeks, not four weeks. Two weeks. And, um, well, from the bottom of my heart, uh, I love you. And I hope you're having a fantastic summer. And a good day. I mean, you know, you know the drill. Um, if you want to tell me about your vacation plans, you can do that down below. Um, you can also talk about um, friendships, if you have any positive stories there. That'd be nice to hear about. Um, you can also talk about whether or not you're you're open about um, your sexuality or, and or gender identity or anything else that makes you stand, you know, part of a minor minority um, in your country of residence. Um, if you want to subscribe, so you can get my, you, you can click the now lit lamp because it's dark outside. Um, to subscribe, and if you want to watch my sister channel once it comes up, which it's it's going to happen, it's going to happen, but uh, it might be in August sometime, so like next month. Um, you can click this uh, these empty wine bottles and wine glass um, from this weekend. I say I like wine. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I hope you're having a good day. I hope this video made it a little bit better. Perhaps. I don't know. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Is there a go home message? Um, I already told you. Um, just be yourself. And it's better to know that people like you for who you really are than who you pretend to be. Um, even though it's very scary. Trust me. I know. Um, so yeah. Stay strong. And enjoy the summer. Bye.